back in the summertime with Halliday, you know, and all the stuff that you had to go through and trying to trade him. And, you know, then there's an, a report yesterday saying, oh, th that that was more of a fact-finding mission is what I read. It was, you know, that that point uh, ownership had decided that you probably weren't going to be back. Did you ever did you ever feel that at that point? And did you ever oh, think that no, when you were I, I doing would, that? Yeah, I mean, it's, no, it I, I would say crazy. that 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 rumor is, is probably false. Uh, we we wanted to trade Roy, um, and Roy wanted to be traded, as he does now. I, I mean, I, stay, I think it's, there's, there's no uh, secret that he would like to be traded, but I think um, I, I don't know how committed at the end our ownership group was to doing it. Uh, and I will be honest with you, we did not get an offer that really made us sit there and say, wow, this is worth trading Roy Halliday for. And there was a lot of a lot of kicking tire kicking from other teams but no one really stepped up and said hey we'll do this guy and this guy and this guy and you know we can get a deal done so as uh as crazy as it sounds we really weren't hit with an offer that would make us say wow you know what cleveland traded cliff lee for you know obviously their this, their situation was a little different uh but we wouldn't have traded traded Roy Halladay for, for what Cleveland made the deal for. Uh, that doesn't mean we don't like the players Cleveland, Cleveland got because we did like a few of them, but we just had a little higher uh, return of what we wanted back from what we thought in our own evaluation. So, um, you know, like I said, ownership has got to want to decide that, that they want to trade that type of player. Right, and, and I guess now knowing and, and hearing what you've seen, you know, I don't know if you're keeping up entirely with it. Uh, I know there was a period of time where I did not, but, I mean, obviously you, you were close to the situation. You know Alex Anthopoulos. It certainly appears like uh, he's in a difficult situation and almost has to move him. Is that your sense? Well, I don't think he has to move him. I, think, uh, I don't think Alex is in any different situation than we were in last year. I think if ownership decides that, Okay, here's the biggest question I think they face is this is the face of our franchise. Okay, once we trade Roy Halladay, what are we telling our fan base? And I think the one question that they have to answer themselves is what direction are they going in? And once you decide to trade Roy Halladay, you've basically told the fan base that we're going to rebuild, um, which I think they're doing anyway, but they're doing it by keeping Roy. So. Uh, you know, this is a call that comes beyond the general manager. Uh, you've been in this situation before, Jim. Uh, a lot of these decisions are out of the general manager's hands as far as what ownership perceives as fan reaction and, and what the perception of the club and the direction that they're going. So I think any time you have a player of this magnitude, that's really an ownership's call. So I, I think that's what Alex is dealing with. I personally think that, you know, move, move the player and move on, but because ultimately the player is going to leave.